In this video, we will uh, try to segment uh, the, um, the kidneys and possibly liver from the human torso data set. So this is the human torso data set. And we would like to segment the kidneys. So this is the, the transfer function for that. Um, what we will do is we will eliminate uh, this region which is basically all that air part and we can just tweak the transfer function so that we get this um, the kidneys showing nicely okay so let's again use say tag one we can either kidney separately uh, segment out two kidneys or we can just apply uh, segmentation to both the kidneys together so I have marked out the portion maybe let me include the the inner part as well so I have got it here and here apply tag and then uh, we can remove this tag um, painted region using uh, right mouse button so I have now tagged and uh, my region is going to be from here to here we can just select the portion um, which will get affected so just select the a smaller region so that the uh, the algorithm has to work only on a on a tiny region apply copy tags and let's start applying the tag press shift t forward and uh, we are almost towards the end done and now let's go backwards so we'll start from here shift T and go backwards it's done okay so these are our kidneys. Let's look at the step from Y. I'm using Alt and left mouse button to restrict the, the box. So from here. What we'll do is we'll apply some smoothing. <clears throat> so that um, the final result will look look much better up to this point okay okay so let's apply some some dilation first so shift D and I'm just dilating a tiny bit. Shift D forward. Let me just turn off the tags. We don't need to copy the tags. Just let the process goes a bit faster. So we have applied uh, dilation um, in the slice direction. We'll also apply slide dilation here. Or what we can do is we can just I can just press stop and what I'll do is instead of dilating one in Z direction and then Y direction and so on what I'll do is I'll press control D let me show you what this does so control D rather than applying the dilation over multiple slices it will just apply the dilation over the selected sub volume 
so I had dilated by that so let me just erode that also in the process of dilation and erosion I have applied applied smoothing okay so control D and it is dilating the tag region it goes much faster so here is the dilated region and now I'll apply smoothing so again control S so let me show you what testing does so control S it will apply the smoothing over selected volume if you want to apply smoothing over slices then you can press shift s or we can press control s and then it will smooth the tag region by that factor and now what we'll do is we'll save the uh, we'll extract the tags uh, we'll extract the tag region from the original data uh, which is the pvl.nc file so let's extract the tags this is tag number one uh, we could also have applied smoothing or the tags here and then um, extracted the data. But when we apply smoothing um, over here uh, while saving the uh, data, then that smooth uh, that smoothing is not uh, saved in the mask file. Whereas when we press Control S or Control D or Control E, those operations are performed. Um, over the over the mask data and then that data is saved uh, in the mask file so uh, that data is not lost whereas when we apply uh, any smoothing or dilation or erosion uh, when saving the uh, so either the image data or the mask uh, tags that information that operation that we had performed is not saved in the mask tags so we right now we are not going to do any um, uh, dilation or erosion or smoothing so that the spread is zero and then save the image data as uh, kidneys done now let us run drishti and see how our kidneys look so kidney.pvl.nc so these are the kidneys that that we saved and this information is copied from the from the original data file uh, which is the pvl.nc so you can you can save uh, data from the from the pvl.nc file or you can just save the tags to uh, to view in Drishti. So now we have extracted kidneys. In the next video, we will see how to extract uh, uh, the liver from the same from the same data. So this is the liver that we will extract in the next in the next video.